you doing? Good, how about you? Good, good. So? We are back to try to speak to Greg Steinhoffel. Unless you have a confirmed or scheduled appointment, unfortunately, you can. Okay. Come in. Is so. there somebody else higher up that we can speak with? No, I'm the person you get to speak with today. Oh, okay. Actually, the, that other guy said that he, I was supposed yeah. to be talking to him. I'm with him, so I get, I get to be the person I get to speak right. with. Right. Okay. okay. So this is a flyer. Yep. It's, um, as we mentioned before, this is both about the janitors who are cleaning the stores. Mm -hmm. uh, they're working for subcontracted companies. And there's a new lawsuit that's just come to light about, according to reports, people were working up to 35 hours not paid. And then secondly, we've heard that Target isn't wanting to take steps about improving minimum wage and is actually, from what we've heard, is fighting against increasing minimum wage. So we're just wondering why would Target uh, such an important entity in the state of Minnesota, why would they be playing a leadership role in keeping people in poverty? Uh, and we, we're going to be continuing to coming back and we hope that we can get a response uh, from the company. Yep, I'll continue to pass up the, the, my chain of command and, and make sure that it gets out there. Right, so we can stop bugging you at the door. How can we get a scheduled meeting with somebody in charge of this decision? Well, we'll talk to our leadership and see what we can do. Sure, how can we get in? If you know someone... Oh, you have to you know, know someone. Mm -hmm. So the That's consumer, the public, can't talk to executives. Not unless you have a scheduled or confirmed. Right, and then I can only schedule one if I know somebody who knows that. Yep. Okay. It's a private property. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So just, yeah. Hi. We are here to speak with the property manager. It's actually in a meeting right now. Ah, uh, okay, we can wait. Okay, can I ask what it's in regards to? <laughs> sure, it's in regards to why uh, the janitors at Plaza 7 are paid much less than all the other janitors in downtown Minneapolis. So. We're in the Plaza 7 office building, which is the only building in downtown Minneapolis that um, pays, that doesn't pay its janitors a living wage. So all the other office buildings pay janitors over $14 an hour with uh, affordable health insurance, paid days off, safe working conditions. Uh, at Plaza 7, they pay the janitors $10 an hour. Uh, many of them only work four hours a night and with no paid benefits and no uh, health insurance. Wait outside. Okay. Or you give me no choice, I will call the cops. Okay. We're asking them that they should pay their janitors the same as every other building. So the, the owners of this building just sold another one of their buildings at 800 Washington Avenue. to. They just sold it to Goldman Sachs. This is the, the building where Bar La Grassa is. Um, they just sold it to Goldman Sachs for $52 million, which is double what they paid for it a few years ago. So they clearly have enough money to pay their janitors uh, you know, a living wage. The workers should be able to, uh, to make a living from their work. Um, and Plaza 7 is saying that workers don't deserve a living wage.